When I was five, my mother proudly pushed my wheelchair to our local public school, where I was promptly refused admission because the principal ruled that I was, quote, a fire hazard, end quote. I was forced to go on to home instruction, receiving one hour of education twice a week for three and a half years. Was this the America of my parents' dreams? My entrance into mainstream society was blocked by discrimination and segregation. Segregation was not only on an institutional level, but also acted as an obstruction to social integration. As a teenager, I could not travel with my friends on the bus because it was not accessible. At my graduation from high school, the principal attempted to prevent me from accepting an award in a ceremony on stage simply because I was in a wheelchair. When I was 19, the house mother of my college dormitory refused me admission into the dorm because I was in a wheelchair and needed assistance. When I was 21 years old, I was denied an elementary school teaching credential because of, quote, paralysis of both lower extremities, sequelae of, sequelae of poliomyelitis, end quote. At the time, I didn't know what sequelae meant. I went to the dictionary and looked it up and found out that it was because of. So it was obviously because of my disability that I was discriminated again. At the age of 25, I was told to leave a plane on my return trip to my job here in the U.S. Senate because I was flying without an attendant. In 1981, an attempt was made to forcibly remove me and another disabled friend from an auction house because we were, quote, disgusting to look at, end quote. In 1983, a manager at a movie theater attempted to keep my disabled friend and myself out of his theater because we could not transfer out of our wheelchairs. These are only a few examples of discrimination I have faced in my 40-year life. I successfully fought all of these attempted actions at aggressive confrontation or litigation. But this stigma scars for life. Many disabled persons experience discrimination of the same magnitude, but not every one of us possesses the intestinal fortitude and has the support of family and friends required to face up to these daily societal barriers. 